remember one call impulsive wave right it will be always large so we can say like this is a and b right now after that we have to find out some corrective wave now you can see here we have seen somewhere uh, impulsive wave just uh, just you can see here like that so now we have seen this is seen right because this wave is large right now here you can see this is the a point and the b point right so connect a point and b point by fibonacci let's check it we just connect a point and b point fibonacci have you seen see here this is called retracement have you seen this is called retracement of 50 percent right so now question is that what trading as strategy we are using right now now first let me explain moving average break when i use 50 exponential moving average right 50 exponential ema yeah. 50 exponential right now here we can see we have seen this one I remember this one 50 uh, this one 50 exponential moving reverse right this is 50 and uh, 20 uh, this blue color uh, this is 20 remember okay so this is 20 and this is 7 exponential all are exponential this is 7 right so remember so now you can see here after doing the retracement have you seen after doing the retracement of 50 level so the broke the level of uh, moving average of 50 have you seen here so that means this is our cell MD, right this is our cell MD. so this uh let me remove that one then we we'll, so i want to remove this one okay uh, this one and this one so one by one i'll discuss and uh, remove i want to also here now have you seen uh, so let me explain this one now you can see we use moving average breakout that means uh, this uh, i'm using this is uh, strategy right so moving average breakout strategy so in that case the exponential 50 exponential moving average right 50 exponential moving average when after doing that means what i'm going to uh, explain that means when market they form an impulsive wave this is called a point remember this is called b point after that we have seen some here c point right so in that case here was moving average row. okay just a minute let me change that. So this is uh, 50 exponential moving average is running uh, this is called 50 em exponential i mostly i use moving average right so this is uh, 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 different people have different choice right so this is 50 exponential moving average remember so now you can see after doing the retrace 50 percent they broke this level here have you seen this is uh, breakout this is all breakout point right so when once they break we'll start here buying right start buy here it is our buy point got it this is called impulsive wave and this is called corrective wave once the corrective wave complete and again when they will break this 50 moving average exponential so this is called buy or sell entry in a sell direction we will enter for sell and the buy direction we will go for buy right so similarly here you can see here right now have you seen this is uh here we can see this is a point right this is a point and this is called impulsive wave 
right? And this is B point, all right? After that, you can see here, this is called C point. This is C point, uh, that means this one, right? So here we have seen, this is exponential moving average 50. That is the breakout, 50 moving average, where we told here, breakout. And here we have seen, this is a broke down here. And SL will be always previous higher point, uh, somewhere like that here. This is called our SL, somewhere. It's stop loss and the target will be first target will be 161 percent have you seen this one have you got it right do you have any doubt you just uh, ask me so then i'll go one by one right do you have any? okay this kumar yes uh, not able to see no okay okay just a minute just a minute just a minute just a minute so soon now are we able to uh, like uh, some people are not able to no. just just to me are we able to uh, hear me and are we able to so Skin is visualizing. Okay, 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 okay. Now, right. So now it's a. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So sometime it happened. So I'm using uh, 15 minutes, right? So if you wanna enter for the buy and sell like that so you just always uh, use 15 minute chart like that right i use 15 minute chart just a minute uh, let me open that one okay somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. okay Okay, just a minute. Let me just this one. All right. So, are we able to understand what I told here? Got it? So, I think uh, first time, uh, first, uh, are not able to see my this one, right? So, again, I want to explain this one. So, now we can see here. Here we have seen this is a point. This is called impulsive wave, right? This is A point and this is B point. This is B point, right? And this is C point. And here is running, this is exponential moving average. When they will break this exponential moving average after doing the retracement, remember, after doing the retracement, have you seen this one? That means price just, this is impulsive wave, right? This is corrective wave completed. And again, they are creating an impulsive wave. But where is our entry point? And in that case, we are using exponential moving average 50. Suppose exponential moving average is uh, sorry, it's running like that, right? Uh, this is called 50 EMA, 50 EMA exponential moving average, right? EMA. So we have seen here, here is a breakout, right? This price broke uh, this level of uh, 50 exponential moving average, right? So this is our entry point for the buy similarly you can see here this is the live market here we have seen right so this is a b right and after that they're doing retracement and we have seen this is a c point right so after that they break these 50 this is 50 exponential moving average remember this is exponential moving average level uh, that means this is our sell entry right criteria number one first trading strategy right is it clear you just leave a message is it clear do you have any doubt if you have any doubt 
Let me try to explain properly, right? Uh, trading is a little more complicated, not a big complicated, right? If you know properly, then you can, uh, you can, you can trade according to whatever you want, right? So only one indicator who can predict uh, the market, that is only Fibonacci, right? So rest of the other indicator never show you uh, where to go market, right? So next, you can see here another trading method we're going to use here. First, moving average breakout. Is it clear? Now, moving average bouncing. Another method are there. Moving average bouncing. So moving average, that means something is called impulsive wave, right? When price is creating like that, the impulsive wave like that, uh, price is running somewhere like that. And after doing some retracement at that time you remember at that time moving average are running like that somewhere whatever moving average it might be right it's running like that right so suppose this is a point and this is b point here will be c point where moving average forming a support or resistance right in an uptrend they are forming a support remember here you can see price uh, creating sorry uh it is a just a minute just a minute a point and this is b point have you seen this is a point b point after that they are doing a retracement and forming a c point and in that case forming a port have you seen and after that again right like that they are running like that now we have seen this is a support by forming by moving average somewhere so when we have seen this type of support so we can go for buy here right so bounce again creating an impulsive wave uh, this is called impulsive wave ib iw impulsive wave and this is corrective wave cw again they are impulsive wave and we need a corrective wave somewhere uh, supporting by moving average. This is called corrective wave. So that, that is our entry point again, right? So let's check it here. Uh, here, now you can see. So let me change the moving average. Have you seen? Okay. So now you can see this is impulsive wave. So I think you people are able to find this impulsive wave, right? Now you can see we have seen impulsive wave. Is it right? A point and B point. Impulsive wave. Now you can see corrective wave and moving average are supporting. Right. This is support. Uh, sorry, they are forming a resistance. So this is our sell entry. Right. Target will be somewhere here, 161 percent or whatever. In one 161 percent. This is extension so again you can see if you if you miss this opportunity suppose if you miss the so next opportunity you can see here next opportunity here you can see uh, just a minute this is called impulsive wave right this is called impulsive wave impulsive wave now corrective wave and you can see moving average breakout entry for the cell right so this is our sell ending, moving average 50 breakout and target weight somewhere here like that, right? So this is uh, bouncing, right? This is breakout, right? Always remember a candlestick pattern near supporting or resistant area. So here we have seen a candlestick pattern. Let me show that a little more. Right. Have you seen this pattern? So I hope you people know uh, properly. Have you seen this candlestick pattern? Right. And uh, the price will fell down. So definitely after breaking this level, this is the first confirmation we have seen sell. And after that, they broke this 50 moving average. So we have seen second confirmation, right? And even trend is down. Trend creating lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. In that case, we have seen this type of candlestick pattern 
this type of confirmation so this is called high probability trade and we can go for sell here right is it clear and uh, what will be as sell in this case okay 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 it's okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay okay if i enter that uh, entry point that is the stop most important thing that is stop loss are most important thing yeah i'll tell you how to place sl suppose one by one in this wave i'm going to explain you properly right let me let me let me explain one by one right so in this web we have seen all patterns so first we have seen this is an impulsive web remember right we have seen this is called impulsive web right now price just uh, pushing upside and creating new lower high right this is called lower low previous was uh, this was lower air low after that they create a higher high this is called higher high right so remember higher high okay and this was higher low now you can see here the lower low they change the trend and this was higher high but they create higher low now we are expecting they will create a again right so now we have seen this is our entry point after breaking this level we have seen here was tested three times have you seen and they're forming a strong resistance if you want to kind of calculate here so this is our entry point and this is our sl so we have seen here 36 point is showing our sl right so here we have seen this is a dozy candlestick pattern. So confirming here we have seen engulfing pattern are forming in the in both a candle. So we'll place a little more above. Right here we have seen 40 point uh, our SL. Right. So most of the people are thinking if I place 40 point, my risk the reward ratio will be high. Right. Or my uh, like a risk percentage will be increased. No. You just reduce the lot remember reduce the lot if you uh, first time you are buying 10 lot right by placing sl 20 point or 10 point and now you can see here sl is increasing right that is why you must reduce the lot right so let me explain so suppose when you gonna buy uh, uh like you you are gonna place sl 10 point right sl 10 point right that is the calculate uh, calculation uh, 10 point and at that time uh, you're like uh, you are going to buy 10 lot like uh, sorry uh, 10 lot right For example i'll calculate it is um, point and this is sl 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 this is um, a lot right lot so now we have seen the SL is our 50 point. Right. So then you must reduce the lot. So no need to buy 10 lot. Right. You can buy like lot or 10 lot, uh, sorry, uh, 2 lot, 3 lot. Because SL is high. And you must uh, reduce the lot size. Right. So I think you know that uh, how to calculate lot size, right? Okay, if you don't have any like idea, so I can explain how to calculate the lot size, right? It will be good then, otherwise you will be uh, confused. I'll, I'll explain the formula, right? Uh, where my formula is there, I'll, I'll show you. Okay.
this is my ppt that means i um when i i was in mumbai so at that time i given that uh, in my seminar right so this is the lot size calculation formula right so let me explain here have you seen lot size uh, formula uh, here you can see percentage risk part rate how many percent you want to take risk right so suppose if you want to take uh, two percent risk entire amount and next you can see uh, total capital have uh, amount in your capital like if you have like fifty thousand some uh, somebody have fifty thousand so for example for for the example fifty thousand right so now you can see divided by risk per lot so we are not take like per lot uh, we are not take uh, risk uh, here we have seen 50 point right into per value uh, 10 point right 10 pips in crude I'll remember uh, not more than crude oil. so right now you can see here this is our formula, right? Now, this is our entry point, and this is our SL, right? So we have seen here our, okay. Here we have seen 40, uh, 40 point are showing SL. So let me calculate here, how many lot we can uh, buy here, right? SL. Mm -hmm. Just a minute, uh, let me remove this one then, okay. Now we're gonna take like a two percent, three percent. So most of the people are using three percent, right? So I'm using three percent here. I've written uh, divided by hundred, right? Into how much you have money? Fifty thousand, right? Fifty thousand. Now here we have seen. Uh, here we have seen. That means in above one. Zero, zero, right? And the next you can see, you can write here, and here five, zero, zero, right? So now you can see here one five divided by five hundred, right? So now you can see if you have. Uh, here will be three, right? Suppose if you have 50,000 amount of money, if you wanna place SL 50 point above or 40 point above, and here, here is your entry point. So that means you can buy here three lot, not more than, remember. And your target will be one is to two, that means 40 point, right? We are placing SL, have you seen this is a 40 point and our target will be at 80 point, somewhere here, somewhere here, 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 exactly in this candle, right? So that means our target will be here somewhere. Here, our this is our target. Take profit here, and this is called SL stop loss in this point, and this is our entry, how many point? Three lot, right? Remember, we are taking only three percent risk, three percent risk, and and our trading ratio will be one is to two. That means if we lost one per uh, one percent to tell entire amount of our money, and we will earn two percent, right? That is right. You can see similarly. Have you seen this on another method? So another uh, here, another. Uh, so here you can see. So I'll explain properly, then you comes to know how to use, uh, do the position sizing, right? Uh, it is most important, right, to remember all this. And the next you can see, now uh, this is our entry point. Next time this is A point, and one trade we done already, B point, right? Now you can see, this is A point, and uh, this is B point. 
right and have you seen this is a c point now we have seen this is a breakout point here and here is our sl so let's see here now you can see here we have seen our this is our entry point here we have seen 20 point sl right now remember same not 20 point uh, okay. Okay, let's see. yeah can see is there remember here now we again same we're gonna take uh, three percent divided by 100 into 50,000 right here will be 15 uh, 1500 right same now you can see one thing here was previously 50 point right now we have seen 20 point but that is why we're gonna enter here 20 right 20 20 into 100 200 right 200 and here you can see now uh, one five divided by 200 now we can buy here uh, we can uh, enter uh, by seven lot have you seen this is called now we can buy here seven lot previous we can buy here seven three lot because got it in this area right in this area this area our sl was 50 point right so that is why we bought three lot and now here sl is 20 point right and we can buy here seven lot have you got it it depend on uh, the total point of sl right how many point we're gonna take sl right remember sl is increasing we will reduce the lot if sl is decreasing and we are increasing the lot but percentage will be same we never change the percent because in a single trade we're going to take only two to three percent we never going to like a trade here we have uh, sl is too big so we will increase 10 percent in a trade 20 percent in a trade don't do that like that if sl is too high too big reduce the lot right have you got it so do you have any doubt why are you taking 61 percent replacement instead of 78 percent okay right one by one i'll i'll explain okay one by one i'll explain okay now not able to, okay if you enter enter stop loss uh, what will be the sl in this case okay sl have you got it sl okay why you taking six Recruitment instead of 70 percent and okay this one approval okay uh, one thing always remember we cannot uh, we cannot take according to our uh, like uh, needed uh, that retracement point the retracement point are there many are there, right so I'll I'll tell you I'll tell you here so retracement not a 61 percent it is showing uh, because it is not like 61 percent it is we have to reverse this one right like that so it is called retracement like so now we can see 38 percent or 50 percent so we need a confirmation right sometime you will find retracement are here sometime we will see retracement are here Sometimes we have seen around 38 percent. Sometimes we have seen 50 percent. Sometimes we have seen 61. Sometimes we have seen 78 percent. But we are not um, taking uh, retracement point manually. It is confirming by the price. Remember, confirming by the price. So here, so let me explain you. Here we never seen any bearish candlestick pattern or there are no any uh, resistance zone by doing moving average or somewhere like that parallel uh, support and resistance so similarly we have seen here some uh, uh, supporting sorry resistant candlestick pattern here right so after that we never seen any bearish right remember 
you here they are forming a resistance by who by moving average 50 or 100 or 150 or 20 somewhere so after that we have confirmed that price uh, price will retrace from that area right so that is why we we are using uh, that moving uh, retracement point right similarly uh, if you want to see here we have seen 50 percent retracement right so here you can see somewhere uh, 38 or 50 percent have you seen this is kind of very scandalistic pattern of forming very scandalistic pattern of forming here we have seen here right this is candlestick pattern, right? After that, they broke this area. So after that, we are confirmed this is a C point, right? Otherwise, we never count this is a C point, right? Is it clear? So somewhere we have seen like that uh, 60, 70% retracement. So here you can see, um, let me remove this one. So now you can see here uh, this one. You can see this one 61 uh, 68 percent retracement this one a point right doing this one price not able to break this level price just and after that they are forming this type of pattern and broke this level right have you seen this one so after that we are confirming this is a c point otherwise we can say like this this is also c point am i right this is also c point this price is not able to continue toward upside again price pull down right they are not able to break this level right here also see like uh, here we have seen pull down again and they broke this level and price this level right uh, okay Sixty one person. Okay, now no doubt. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Now let's check it another method, right? So we already discussed this one. So one by one, so we need at least two to three confirmation. Two to three confirmation. First, we have seen this one. Uh, mm, next we need the moving average bounce bouncing trading strategy so here we can see this is moving average bouncing trading strategy so this was moving average bouncing trading strategy right we need uh, that one so now you can see this is called moving average bouncing trading strategy have you seen this one right this is moving average bouncing trading strategy next we need the moving average crossover for moving average crossover, I use specially moving average 20 and that's seven. So here you can see seven, all exponential and moving average 20. Let me change the color uh, in more thick eye here. Right, so let's check it. Now this is a live market here. You can see, oh, sorry, today's close, but this is crude oil, right? So now you can see, we have seen here, uh, this is an impulsive wave, have you seen? So I wanna connect the impulsive wave. Have you seen this is impulsive wave called AB, A point and a B point, right? And now you can see this is a C point, have you seen? So we have seen this as C point, so let me zoom low or it will unvisualize, right? So now you can see, let me zoom this more. So now we can see this is a point and uh, this is a B point, right? This is impulsive wave. Now we can see corrective wave are there. So after that, this is moving average crossover. Have you seen here moving average crossover there, right? Here, right? That means 
seven moving averages, which is red. So here you can see the moving average was running above, right? So running above. This is red moving a red line. Have you seen this on the red color? Moving averages is running above uh, this 20. This is blue. So after that, they broke this level, cross each other, right? After doing the retracement, when moving average crosses uh, each other, that is our entry point for the cell. Got it? This is called moving average crossover trading strategy with Fibonacci. So now you can see, after doing the retracement, we have seen a crossover here. So this is called cell entry. And after that, they broke this moving average 50. This is double confirmation, and you can go for cell here. If you see, this is 100%, and the 100%, you can see this is 100%, this is 0%, and this is Fibonacci 100%, right? And this is 0%, right? This is 0%. So zero line also broke this, uh, broke here. So according to uh, that, in my previous webinar, I explained how, what is our entry point? That is called breakout entry point. Now we have seen at least three confirmation, right? We have seen three confirmation for the cell here. So we can definitely, we can go for cell. But the big question is there, what is our SL? Right, for, for SL, you always use here somewhere like that. So this is, we have seen, so most of the people are using, this is the previous higher point. So if you seen here, it's just too long, then you can go for, uh, place your SL just moving average above 20. Have you seen this one moving average 20? It's running like that, blue color. If you enter here, you just sell, uh, place your SL. So in that case, your SL will be here. So suppose your entry point for the cell, if you see here 30 point or 40 point is showing here SL. And if you, if it is too long or too big, so you can place SL above this 20 level. Have you seen this is 20? So you can see uh, 16, 17 point SL. And the target you can see, this is your always maintain one is to two. If you are placing 20, suppose here 20 point are there or 30 point, you can place your 60 point, right? This is your target and they don't expect this uh, all entire uh, uh, point, right? Don't and leave your greediness. This is a big psychology problem. Most of the people are losing only because of psychology, right? So it is breakout. Any doubt? It is a breakout trading strategy. So do you have any questions? So you can ask breakout. This is called breakout trading strategy. Okay. So always find out that one trend. Remember, impulsive wave and corrective wave. So now next. So after that, one by one, I'll, uh, I'll add every indicator, right? So we need a more confirmation, right? So later you can see here, uh, moving average and after that, let me use now percentage I. I always use that one. I think you remember in my YouTube video everywhere I'm using percentage R, right? So this is my analytical chart, so right? So I always use this percentage R. Have you seen this one percentage R? So yesterday I explained about it. What called this one? Okay, uh, this is Bank Nifty. So yesterday I given that one support 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 this is our entry point and i given our target somewhere here already we reach that target right so that was our bank nifty so now you can see crude oil and i want to apply here percentage r this is william percentage r and i use 45 period All right this is percentage r According to the percentage R, if they break this level 50 or minus 20, minus 50, minus 20, and minus 80, all are minus. Remember, minus 20 period, minus 50 period, or minus 80 period. So remember, I use minus 50 breakout, this is cell, and minus 80 breakout cell, 
right? Two cell option. And uh, for the buy, minus 50, same both side and minus 20 for the sell, right? Similarly, uh, here we can see same. Uh, Mm. percentage are right uh, let me explain this was uh, suppose uh, this is our impulsive wave right this is our impulsive wave we have seen this is moving average cross over here and at the same time we have seen percentage r cross over here that is our perfect cell entry and breakout moving average crossover percentage are course of our right trend is down creating lower low lower high lower low, lower high, lower low. like even this call by seeing this one right i think uh, who people uh, like uh, who following my youtube videos so i think uh, in my youtube channel morning yesterday morning uh, I told them here was the price just market was open uh, was opening at that time uh, time was around 10 yeah i think at that time i was creating a youtube video so i told that this is impulsive corrective impulsive and the corrective wave so we must go for sell and keep your sl 50 point above here 50 point i given 50 point from that area so let me check it where was my sl right yesterday my sl here was a price and I given 50 point SL somewhere here, right? Somewhere here. And uh, my target was 1.1 is to five. Here was somewhere, right? I, I told that uh, here was my entry point for the sell. SL was where somewhere 40 or 15 point was and the target was here, somewhere here. So you can see exactly. And I told yesterday my trading ratio one is to 1.5 that was this is what uh, this was my target right yesterday i think so why i told because i am using that fibonacci strategy and i expecting they will bounce from moving average 50 so that is why i told here we can go for sell right have you got it right uh who people have my crude oil youtube video A time of candle 15 minutes for entry and exit always you want to for analyze the market you always use four hour or daily chart for find out and support and resistance and uh, for uh, for trading i use 15 minutes uh, where you uh, where okay sorry you asked uh, as did you hear due to voice prayer okay so you can go for our youtube channel okay i'll show you my our youtube channel. you just follow this youtube channel because i always uh, are creating youtube video right so let me let me tell you you just go to allies blue that is slow i think this is allies blue okay just create a video video manager most of the people are asking me so uh, hindi i don't know how to read the hindi story because this is my national my mother tongue even i i'm i'm trying to learn hindi because if i start uh, like a hindi like that people are not able to understand me properly right so this is yesterday crude oil so i post here so just a minute so this is crude oil right there so crude oil you can see here okay this is crude oil for 15 minutes uh here you can see uh right have you seen this one 
exactly here was right here was price right have you seen price is there right exactly are there around three nine something are there uh, there was a 50 moving average this one have you seen this one 50 moving average and placing a strong resistance i told that they're creating lower low right i told that they're creating lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low and that they are creating another lower low and my target will be somewhere here and here previous there so this is our entry point for the cell and sl will be here and the target will be here right similarly exactly you can see here yesterday so most of the have you seen i told them like that lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low and here was the market i told that just enter for the cell and the target will be somewhere here you can see here right exactly so that was uh, my target was there so uh, for next step uh, on monday i'll again i'll explain right so users subscribe our channel users write down like aliceblue.com sorry aliceblue online users right like that you just uh, type here allies blue online in youtube you will find it right okay now have you seen this was uh, my target so and I, at the same time they break this level so i was exposed from this area right in that area percentages are also bouncing from that area so after that price and near previous lower point have you seen so is it clear do you have any doubt So I think almost one hour completed now, 10 minutes left. And do you have any questions so you can ask me? So I have only 10 minutes. Or you can you can ask me any script, whatever you have position, so I can explain. This is crude oil. So you can ask me any script, stocks, com uh, stocks, commodity, whatever, forex. You just tell me, uh, please tell me where to get part one, part two video. Okay, in our YouTube channel, you just uh, find that one, part one, part two. We want to see part one, part two. We are uploading every day. So if you have any doubt, you ask me, or if you want to know any script, you just leave, uh, just, uh, just uh, leave a message. Uh, I'll analyze for you any moving average setting. Moving average setting, I always use exponential moving average and moving average for crossover, I use 7 and 20. 7 and 20 crossover, this is my entry point. And 50 breakout, that is also my entry point. Clear confirmation of which are EM and need to use for clear confirmation of which are. Uh, who's uh, EMI? We need to use clear confirmation. So, always combine all of them, right? If somewhere like that support are there, somewhere support. Suppose uh, here, let me show you. So, let me run and let's check it in a four hour. Suppose this is four hour chart, right? This is four hour chart. So four hour chart, we have seen some raised stand. Have you seen this is a raised stand line? So I wanna draw here. And here was exactly price reached that area, right? Have you seen? This area. So let's check in a small time frame, like 15 minutes. So now we have seen, this was four hour. We have seen this is a Raise the line, right? Raise the line. Previously, they tested here, not able to pull down again. Tested now, same time they are testing here. So, in that case, we are looking for a crossover, moving average crossover. Have you seen this one? Moving average crossover are there, moving average breakout 50. This is our sell entry. Here, we have seen crossover and sell entry, but 
in this area we never seen as resistant area resistant area was here so that is why price push up toward this resistant line and they break this level so in that case we are going to uh, enter sell direction right so here i'm not going to sell direction because resistance are there we are expecting price will uh, test again in this area right that is why we always find out the resistance line and a supporting line after 